The world has suffered an apocalyptic catastrophe. Humans can no longer survive here, the air is toxic, and people are dying by the truckloads. Luckily, the Uber Reach have had an escape plan for a long time. They quickly board their ships and head to Mars to live out the rest of their years and ensure the continuation of the human race. Don't worry though, it's not just the rich who survive. The regular people like you and me also make it to Mars. Who else is going to work in the factories and create the oxygen that we breathe on Mars? Who else will work to keep things clean? We all have a chance in this new life on an alien planet. The rich, however, are the only ones who have the ability and the luxury to return to Earth. Will they be able to fix it? Will they attempt to reverse the damage done by our wars and our pollution? No, of course not. Instead, Earth is now a place where those with the means can return to reminisce about the olden days while enjoying a nice round of golf. And of course, once they're done, they hop back into their ship and return to Mars. This is the premise of Golf Club Wasteland. You, however, are not rich. You're not even sure you're happy that you survived. Do you play as the famous hero in this grim future? You are the one who saved many of the people who survived. You are the pilot of the starship that took the remaining survivors off planet and delivered them safely to their new home on Mars. Now it's your turn to go back to Earth with one goal in mind. Complete the golf course everyone brags about being able to play through and maybe see what's left beyond the course. Immediately after starting Golf Club Wasteland, you quickly realize this is not so much a golf game as it is a game that has golf in it. The golf mechanics are almost non-existent, Sure, you can aim, kind of, and yeah, you choose how much power you put into your swings and your putts, but there is no direct information showing you your exact measurements or power. Instead, you have to get used to eyeballing your shots and hope that the ball goes where you want. Instead, Golf Club Wasteland is about the story of the people and how they're dealing with the dead earth and their new issues that have arisen on Mars, which is now their new home. There are no blue skies on Mars. You can't go out and take a walk on the barren land all the things that we took for granted on Earth are now things that people reminisce about on Mars. People are grateful to be alive, and yet still everyone on Mars is miserable and depressed. Now all of this is best expressed on the radio station that plays and keeps you company throughout your playthrough called Radio Nostalgia from Mars. On the radio station, you hear about all the hardships everyone is dealing with on the Red Planet. Everything from becoming a new mother on a new planet to the fact that it never rains on Mars and showers are limited to 30 seconds with no exceptions. It's not all doom and gloom though, interlaced between interviews there are pretty decent songs and some music throughout the entire game. And I think this gives the entire game a very chill feeling and allows you the gamer to sit back and work your way through the rest of the course while trying to learn more about not only the people struggling to survive on Mars, but about yourself as well. On top of that, there's also a story told from a third person, someone who's been watching creatures from space come to Earth and hit balls around the planet like stupid children. Beings that are so lazy they choose not to walk to take their next swing, instead they use their jetpacks to get around to wherever it is that they need to go. These aliens look a lot like the person watching, but they're fat and slow, and they wear orange jumpsuits and helmets to protect them from the ever-expanding haze that now engulfs the Earth. The Watcher has stayed away from these people every time they've come to Earth, but not this time and not this one. This one has come alone. He doesn't look like he's having fun. There's something special about it, and in order to find out what's so special about your character, you'll have to play the game for yourself to find out. There are a total of 35 levels that you can play in Golf Club Wasteland. Each hole has its own par and you can keep track of it throughout your playthrough if that's what you're playing the game for. However, I suggest playing the story mode where your score doesn't matter and you can take as many strokes as you need in order to just get the story of the game. I think this is the best way to experience it. As you progress through the game, you'll unlock entries in your diary that tell a little more about the places you're visiting and small blurbs about what happened in the area. Purchasing Golf Club Wasteland also gives you Charlie's Odyssey. You are Charlie, and your Odyssey takes form in a beautifully drawn 55-page digital comic. So if you haven't guessed it by now, this game is all about story with golf used as a tool to get you from the start to the finish. At the end of the comic, you also get a code to download the game's awesome soundtrack. Now, I don't think there's that much more that I can say about the game. It tells a fantastic story while having some just okay golf gameplay. Personally, I like it, and if you're looking for something to just sit back and relax with, I think that you might like it too. So if you guys want to check out Golf Club Wasteland for yourself, there's a few more things that I can tell you about it. It takes about two to three hours to complete the game, and it's pretty much available anywhere. You can pick it up for $9.99 on PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, and Steam. And it's also got a sequel coming out that I'm really excited for called The Cub. And if you want to check out a trailer to The Cub, I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. 
I guess that's pretty much it. I really do like this game. I wanted to make a video about it and I hope some of you guys will check it out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you on the next video.